Tomorrow begins jury selection in the Karen Reed murder trial. It's a case that has caught local attention and even the national media spotlight. Reed is charged with running over and killing her police officer boyfriend. The defendant and a popular blogger says it's all a massive police cover-up. WBC's Tammy Mutasa joins us live outside of Dedham Court with what to expect. Tammy. Well, Courtney, expect a huge day for this community. This case has captivated and divided Norfolk County. But the big question is, if so many people have their own thoughts, theories, and opinions about this case, can a juror from the public be impartial? It's the name and trial most people beyond Norfolk County know about, Karen Reed. Everybody, every place you go, Anyone starts to talk to you, they're talking about this. Oh, you live in Dan? What about this trial? Of course, I think everybody knows about it. I, you know, it's not a mystery anymore. <laughs> on Tuesday, she will walk through a barricaded Norfolk Superior Courthouse on trial for second degree murder in the death of her boyfriend, Boston Police Officer John O'Keefe, in January 2022. As jury selection starts, many wonder how that will impact the high profile case. And I couldn't be a good, um, juror because I know about it. So I kind of biased. That's why law experts say the challenge for the jury will be proving they can be unbiased in the widely polarizing case. I think it's going to be a long road to pick an impartial jury. That's Suffolk University law professor Christopher Dearborn. The influence of, of the media, social media, the, the sidebars with the turtle blogger, um, all the information that's been going back and forth from the DA's office and the defense team. Prosecutors will try to prove their case, claiming that Reed got drunk, then ran over O'Keefe, leaving him to die in a friend's yard in Canton. Then, the defense is expected to maintain that Reed is the victim of a police cover-up. They hope to find out from a judge if they can shift the blame to three other men. A trial process that could last seven weeks, which could be another challenge. If you have a seven-week trial, you're going to run the risk of boring people and putting people to sleep. It doesn't matter how sensational it is. And those who live in the middle of it all are bracing for a circus. I just hope justice is served for either one, whatever it is, you know. And experts say it could take several days to pick a jury because both sides are allowed to dismiss up to 16 potential jurors for no reason at all. Live in Dedham, Tammy Matassa, WBZ News. Tammy, thank you.